Welcome back everyone! Today we're going to discuss about solving systems of linear equations with three variables. Your goal is to isolate your x, y, and z in order for you to solve. So for our first example, you would see that I'm going to solve this using the process of elimination. There are really many ways on how you can solve systems of linear equations with three variables, but um, depending on how your equations are presented, then you can choose. Um, my most favorite whenever I'm doing this is really process of elimination unless substitution looks easier. And later I'm going to show you when substitution is a lot easier than elimination. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve this. So what you're going to do is you're going, I just like to number my, like my equations so that I'm keeping track. So I'm calling this equation one, equation two, and equation three. So let's look at equation one and two. So that's the first thing you're going to do. You're going to choose two equations where you can uh, eliminate a variable of your choice. So I'm gonna choose 1 and 2 and in 1 and 2 I'm looking at the x. I think it's easier for me if I turn this into a 2 and also here that is also easy. You can turn this into a 6. However, uh, 2 is a lot smaller than 6 so I can just multiply this by so that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so what I did here is I multiplied all these terms by 2. So 2 times uh, negative 1 is negative 2. 2 times positive 3 is positive 6. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And then 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. And here, I wrote equation 1. So these are the two that we're operating for right now. And... Um, we're going to eliminate x by adding. So when do you add? You add when the signs are different. Because when you add different signs, then those are inverses and they turn to zero. Okay? So that's already crossed out. And we're now going to have negative 4 plus positive 6 is a positive 2y. Negative 6z plus um, negative 2z is positive 4z, 18 plus negative 12 is 6. All right, so we have that now, and I'm going to call this again. This is your equation 1, and I'm calling this, uh, yeah, that's your equation 2. But now this is a new equation, which I'm going to call equation 4, okay? Okay, so this is how you keep up with your equations, number them, and that's your new equation, so you're calling that equation 4. Let's now go to our next step. Our next step is between equation 2 and 3. We're going to look at uh, also eliminating x. Now, why x? Because here, you have eliminated x, so that's what you want to do. For the next uh, two equations of your choice, you must also eliminate the same uh, variable that you have eliminated the first time. So, looking at this, this time I need to multiply this equation, all the terms of this equation by 4, so that the 4 and the 4 here can be eliminated. With that said, they would look like this now. And so let us begin the process of elimination. Um, so you will add, because the signs are different. So that cancels out and becomes a 0. Uh, positive 12 plus negative 10 is to positive 2y. Negative 4c plus 10z is positive 6z. 24 plus negative 24 plus positive 34 is a positive 10. And I'm going to call this as my equation 5 because that's my new equation now. Okay, so after that, you're going to take your equation 4. Notice that you're now down to just two variables consistent with this one, y and z y and z and you're taking 4 and 5 and performing your elimination again so in this case the best to eliminate is the y but this time instead of adding we are going to subtract why because they have the same signs so we're going to subtract 2y plus uh, minus 2y is going to be a 0 and then 
4z minus 6z is negative 2z. 6 minus 10 is negative 4. And actually here, I'm already down to my last step in order to isolate the z. Remember, that is our goal. You need to make sure that your all your variables are right here. All your variables are isolated. So the first thing that we were able to isolate is the z. And on here, z is equal to 2. We're going to use now the z to solve for... Uh, it's just easier for me to substitute the z with any of these two, okay? Because you have just two variables here. And so when I do that, I'll be able to solve for the y. So let's go ahead and use equation 5 to solve for, okay? This time, solve for, solve for y, okay? So I'm going to use equation 5, okay? And so I have 2y plus 6z equals 10. And now 2y plus 6. Okay, we're substituting. So I'm going to put here substitute. Okay, substitute is your process here. Okay, so now you're going to have 2y plus 12 equals 10 to y equals 10 minus 12 we're doing the shortcut so move this to the other side sign will change to y is equal to negative 2 isolate the y by dividing both sides by 2 your y is negative 1 all right so let's go ahead and continue on here Okay, with z equals 2 and y equals negative 1, you're going to now choose any of these in order for you to substitute. I will just use equation 1. So this is equation 1 and I am going to put the y in parentheses and the z in parentheses so that I can substitute those values inside like such z's too. Okay, the next step is 2x. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. 6 times 2 is 12 equals 18. And then now this is going to become 2x. And this 2 will move to the other side. But changing the sign. The positive 4 becomes negative 4. The positive 12 becomes negative 12, and this is just going to be 18 minus 4 is uh, 14, minus 12 is 2. Divide both sides by 2 to isolate the x. x is equal to 1. The way you show your solution is in the form of x, y, z. So x is 1, y is negative 1, and z is 2. Go ahead and go to the next page of your notebook for the continuation, for example, number 2. Okay, copy this down and make sure to put the equation numbers on the side, so equation 1, 2, and 3. Notice that for equation 1, the y variable, the y term is missing. Therefore, you're going to work on equations 2 and 3 to eliminate the y variable. Okay, so here is your equations 2 and 3, and I'm choosing to add it to eliminate this because they have different signs so when you add this becomes a 5x and this becomes a positive 3z and this is a negative 1 and i'm calling this as my equation 4. okay now after that you're going to uh, work on equations 1 and 4 because they have the same variables they just have x and z notice here that what i did was i added because these two are easily they can easily be eliminated because they have uh, different signs so now this is already zero and then this plus this is negative 6z and then this plus this is negative 18 and i'm just going to divide both sides by negative 6 and my z 
now is a positive 3. And so now I'm going to use equation number 1 to substitute z equals 3. And so now taking equation 1 and putting in 3 in place of the z, we have this. And then now we're going to simplify and solve for x. Okay, negative 9 times 3 is negative 27. And for this next step, we kind of did the shortcut. I had uh, moved negative 27 back to the right side, which will turn it into a positive 27. So now, so negative 17 plus 27 is a positive 10. And we are going to now isolate the x by dividing both sides by negative 5. And your x is a negative 2. You will now use the values of z and x to substitute in either equations 2 or 3 so that you can now solve for y. In this case, I'm using equations 3 to solve for y, and I'm now going to substitute. Okay, so your x is a negative 2 plus 5y minus z is 3 equals negative 20. So now it would look like this, and we will now combine like terms. So now both the negative 2 and the negative 3 went to the right side. So from the left, they went to the right. Therefore, negative 2 turns to positive 2 and negative 3 turns to positive 3 and we will just solve. So negative 20 plus positive 2 plus 3 is negative 15. We can solve for y by dividing both sides by 5. Therefore, your y is a negative 3 and your final solution is negative 2x, negative 3y, and positive 3 z. Please flip your page for the last and final example because remember at the beginning of this video I had told you that uh, substitution is not my favorite in solving for uh, linear equations with three variables. However, it really depends on the given. In this case, substitution is the best way. Notice that you have three equations here but then your third equation is already solved for you. So this is z equals 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to substitute right away on equation 2 for z to right away solve for y. So I made a note here for you. Substitute z equals 4 on equation 2. This is your equation 2 and this is the substitution. And then now I just have to move the 4 to the other side and solve for y. From the left side, the 4 went to the right side and it turned to the opposite sign which is minus 4. 13 minus 4 is 9 and here I will just divide both sides by 3. And so now your y is equal to 9 over 3 or 3. Okay, so when you reach this part, you're now going to substitute the z and the y onto the z and the y here so that you can solve for x. So now I made a note for you. Substitute z equals 4 and y equals 3 to equation number 1. And here is your equation number 1. And here is your substitution. Okay? So the same thing except that y now turns to 3. And the z turns to a 4. You're going to do your order of operations and you will solve for x. Alright? 2 times 3 is 6. So copy this down. And then 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8 and then copy down everything and all this, uh, all we will have to do is to isolate your x which means that the 6 goes to the right side, the 8 goes to the right side, changing the sign. So now you have negative 4x equals uh, negative 10 minus 6 minus 8 and then this will turn to negative 24. You will divide both sides by negative 4. And then your x is a positive 6. So your final answer will be 6, 3, 4 in the order of this is your x, this is your y, and this is your z. Okay guys, I hope that you have learned a lot today in solving for linear equations with three variables. I will see you next time. Goodbye!